Internet-connected devices at risk for crypto cash hacking. Is your smart fridge running a crypto mining program? Internet-connected devices like smartphones and TVs could be at risk from hijacking by hackers and used to mine cryptocurrencies. According to a vast cybersecurity firm, 15,000 internet-connected devices could be used to mine $1,000 worth of Monero digital cash in four days. A theoretical attack would start with hackers taking over a network of devices and then using that combined computing power to mine digital currency. Unlike Bitcoin, which requires substantial computing power to mine, Monero can be mined using a network of internet-connected devices. Monero has grown in popularity among criminals as it advertises itself as being one of the most anonymous digital coins available. You're being hacked right now, but it's okay. Keep watching. Venezuela to enter crypto market with the Petro. Thinking about cryptocurrencies, the Venezuelan president wants you to forget about Bitcoin and buy the Petro. Yeah, right. Venezuela announced that it will enter the cryptocurrency market with its launch of the Petro digital coin. According to President Nicolas Maduro, the Petro will be backed by oil, gas, gold and diamond reserves. Maduro said the government will issue 100 million tokens, each valued at the price of one barrel of Venezuelan crude. That would value the Petro issuance at just over 6 billion US dollars. The government said the cryptocurrency will help the cash-strapped nation make financial transactions and overcome U.S. sanctions against the country. Venezuela's actual currency, the Bolivar, is in freefall, with the nation in need of basic necessities like food and medicine. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and now Ripple. With everyone crazy about Bitcoin, once unknown cryptocurrencies are being thrust into the limelight, the latest being Ripple, currently second on the market. Ripple is both a payment network and a cryptocurrency. It uses blockchain technology, but is differentiated from other platforms by its ties with legitimate financial institutions. Ripple's currency is known as XRP and is not mined by users. The company has control, initially creating 100 billion coins, with 38 billion currently in circulation. The rest of the coins will reportedly be released into the market gradually, up to a billion XRP tokens a month. Other cryptocurrencies have a stored value and can be used to buy goods and services. But XRPs mainly cover transaction fees as an anti-spam measure and are destroyed soon after. Ripple's main purpose is to facilitate global money transfers. Banks take three to five days to process cross-border payments, but transactions on the Ripple network are cleared in only four seconds. The platform also boasts low fees and can handle up to 1,500 transactions per second, compared to only seven on Bitcoin. By and large, the core function of Ripple is markedly different from other cryptocurrencies available on the market. Whether or not it's a good investment is another thing entirely. Hackers using fake crypto apps to steal money and personal data. Hold on to your wallet, your digital wallet that is. Internet security firm Risk IQ looked at more than 18,000 apps to find ones blacklisted by cybersecurity vendors and detected 661 blacklisted crypto apps across 20 app stores being used by hackers to steal money and personal data. Google Play offered the highest number of malicious apps with 272 available for download. Hackers used phrases like Bitcoin exchange, Bitcoin wallet and cryptocurrency to trick potential victims. The report suggests that investors thoroughly research possible exchanges and wallet apps before using them. People should check the developer's name, user reviews, and number of app downloads. With digital currencies like Bitcoin gaining interest, cybersecurity has become a real big concern. Fiddy forgot he had Bitcoin, now it's worth $8 million. While everyone was going bananas for Bitcoin at the end of last year, 50 Cent apparently had 700 Bitcoins he totally forgot about. Back in 2014, he released Animal Ambition and became the first artist to accept a Bitcoin as payment. From the deal, he received more than 700 Bitcoins. Those coins are now worth 7 to 8 million US dollars. For now, Bitcoin is currently valued at around $11,200, but still remains highly volatile. Not bad from a kid from Southside. I'm so proud of me, 50 Cent wrote on Instagram. At least someone is. Just think of how proud Fiddy would have been of himself if he sold when the price was at 20 grand. Looks like Fiddy had 21 questions, but Bitcoin wasn't one.